Hey guys, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share the recipe of rice dumplings. Uh, the dumplings means uh, you guys will think that this dumpling is very famous in China, but uh, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, rice dumpling in South Indian style. So for this recipe, what you need, uh, here I added uh, one cup of rice and two tablespoons of moong dal into this uh, big bowl. And I'm going to grind this one as a coarse powder in a blender. So for one cup of rice and three tablespoons of Ur, um, moong dal and I'm going to grind this one guys hey guys I grind this rice and moong dal as a very coarse powder you should not supposed to um, grind it in a very smooth powder so this is done guys and take a pan add 2 tablespoons of oil I'm not using the spoon guys but I know 2 tablespoons of oil and when the oil is hot little bit we have to add all the things the mustard seeds, the urad dal and the chana dal and the curry leaves so I am going to add the first thing is the mustard seeds so when the mustard seeds is started spluttering We have to add the urad dal. And it's time to add the urad dal. Some chana dal. So you can add all the things 1 tablespoon, 1 tablespoon of urud dal, 1 tablespoon of chana dal and some fresh curry leaves. It gives a nice taste in all the Indian food especially the South Indian food. And the ink powder, the asafoetida. And you have to mix all these things together. And some red chilies. Some red chilies. So I added three red chilies. And it's time to add the water. So for 1 cup of rice, you have to add 2 cup of water. So for 1 cup of rice, we have to add 2 cup of water. So I am adding the water. And when the water started boiling, we have to add this uh, uh, the rice powder and uh, the of the fresh coke, the fresh coconut, guys. It gives the nice the fresh coconut. It gives the nice taste in this dumpling. Uh, so we have to wait for five minutes. Hey guys, I added some salt and some fresh ginger. Uh, so we have to wait for boiling guys then only we have to add this rice powder into this
So in the meanwhile, I'm going to add this uh, fresh coconut into this. So my water is started boiling guys and what we have to do is time to add this rice and moong dal powder into this. And we have to cook this one until it absorbs all the water and becomes thick like upuma. Okay guys, my rice upma is ready and can you see it absorbs all the water and it becomes thick now. So after 10, after 10 to 15 minutes when it becomes cooled down, I will make small small dumplings and I will cook it in this uh, idli stand guys uh, and I will uh, steam this um, rice dumpling for 5 to 10 minutes in the pressure cooker or you can cook it in the rice cooker or anything so we have to wait for 10 minutes this is perfectly cooked so this is the south indian way of dumpling guys this is not the chinese dumplings so dumplings is very famous in china as you know but i'm I'm preparing this one in South Indian style and this dish is very famous in South India. Hey guys, it's time to make small small balls like this. So I'm making more balls. So I will show you guys. So you can make it in the round shape or in the oval shape so can you see so this is ready I'm going to make all these things hey guys uh, I kept the pressure cooker and I added some water and I'm going to steam these uh, rice dumplings uh, in the pressure cooker for 5 to 10 minutes then my dumplings will be ready Hey guys, my dumplings is ready and it's time to remove from the Italy cooker. So you can have any side dish guys like any chutney or sambar. Today we are going to have this one with the sambar. So can you see guys so this is perfectly cooked and this is how we make rice dumplings at home so this is the quick quick video of how to make rice dumplings at your home see you soon in my another cooking video and please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys see you soon bye bye